What's up? My name is Sayer Piotrkowski. I'm a beer tender at the Monk's Kettle in San Francisco. And what we're going to do today is the Swagger Stagger Part 2 Oakland Edition. We're actually standing here in the courtyard of my apartment building right now. And uh, everything that we're going to hit today is within walking distance of my house. So places that uh, I actually do my drinking. Today, we're gonna roll around with my buddy Ashcon. Uh, some of you may know him from a ridiculously popular viral video that happened while the Giants won the World Series. So we're gonna go over to our first spot, which is the Commonwealth Pub and Cafe, one block from my front door, and uh, we're gonna link up with our companion for the day. start here. Um, I, mean, I eat this stone pretty regularly. It's, All right. it's kind of the jump off. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to save that for dessert. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Happy camper. <laughs> All right. So we got two beers here. Yeah. Um, both vaguely pale ales, um, sort of United Kingdom style pale ales, um, but one super classic and one really contemporary. Um, this is the Marston's Pedigree Pale Ale, um, classic sort of Burton style pale, um, and then this is 5 a.m. Saint, one of my favorite beers in the world. 5 a.m. Saint from Brewdog in Alba, Scotland, I believe. Definitely in Scotland. Um, and you'll notice a crazy difference between the two, and, and uh, the analogy I use is like blues pre Hendrix, blues pre Blues post Jimmy. Here we go. Oh yeah. Feeling that. I'm in the groove now. My energy's getting up. I'm ready. For, I'm ready for the stagger. Where exactly this is the, are we? Right this is the, the port of Oakland, man. This is like season two of The Wire out here. Yeah, this you is had, uh, uh, well, I mean, it's the same phenomenon, though, right? Like, we used to make stuff, we used to need to export it, import it, send it all around the world. Now right. you've got all this vacant industrial space. So it is sort of a cheap place to open a business if you have, you know, a production right. brewery right here. What's up, Adam? What's up, guys? How you doing? Good to see you, sir. My buddy Ashton. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, welcome, man. So, Linden Street Brewing Company. got this place, I didn't know exactly what kind of beers I wanted to make, but I knew uh, I knew that I didn't want to bring sand to the beach, right? Like, I, I, wanted, uh, I wanted to sort of find a style that hadn't been uh, sort of taken over <laughs> already. So, you know, looking into sort of Oakland's history, it didn't take long to realize that, you know, we were making steam beers uh, just like San Francisco, Anchor Steam, and the like, uh, every bit as much as San Francisco. You, not even maybe a little more at certain points. Adam is being a little bit modest when he's saying he doesn't understand why other brewers don't do those styles. Um, one of the things about those big, high gravity, very hoppy, heavily dry hop styles of beer is you can obscure sort of flaws and problems that may exist in your in the subtleties of your beer making. If you um, you know if something is just heavily aromatized or pounded with hops or very high gravity or very intense and right. then, you know you don't necessarily have to be you know just just like making music or anything else right like right. If, if it's just gonna you know overwhelm somebody with a certain aspect of it it may obscure something you're lacking in another aspect of it right. so these more um, like you throwing know, a whole lot of sauce and salt on your dinner exactly so yeah the front room is just sort of my office slash home away from home but this is where we're actually making the beer This is my baby. This is the one I like. This is Urban People's Common Lager. There you All are. Right. There you are. So yeah, so this one is definitely going to be, you know, the only way I could describe it would be rustic. But when I think of like things that I consider rustic, like it just, it has that feel of like it's not perfect and that's why it's perfect. Yeah. No, exactly. You, you know, know, it's kind of like, like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, no. I mean, All right. Hey, so I got I to gotta, I gotta ask. Sarah was saying before we got here. That you uh, you distribute your beer actually on a bicycle uh, around town. <laughs> is this is this fact? Yeah, it's fact. Uh, I, I'm, I'm that. not watching, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're out 
here on the porch at Beer Revolution, which most months out of the year is a beautiful place to be. Uh, right now, it's a little bit apocalyptic and rainy <laughs> and hurricane-y slightly, um, but we're working it out. We have some beef fajitas on the way, and we are drinking a beer called Dee's Mild. Uh, this is the first time this beer has ever been commercially available. A uh, new brewery called Dying Vines. This is a 3.9% alcohol, dry, refreshing, kind of toasty, bready. Uh, you call it a Southern English mile, even a Southern English brown ale. Uh, beer Revolution is a bottle shop slash beer destination that Tasting I frequent. Room, yeah. Tasting room. Our official, our official uh, designation is uh, specialty bottle shop and tasting room. Specialty That's how we sell to the city. Tasting room. My haggard girl is all I Father gave me beer in my, in my baby bottle. So I figured that's where it all started. Of course, I think it was Lucky's at the time, but you know, I was a baby and I couldn't see it. So things seem to be going great every time Pretty the year is packed. Yes, yes. Can't yes. even fit inside with the camera today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so here we are in the middle of Old Oakland, downtown area of uh, Oakland. Uh, we're about to head into the Trappist, which is probably the uh, strictly Belgian beer program on the West Coast, certainly in the Bay Area. One of the things about a program like this where they are uncompromising, um, you know, your beer's gonna be in the proper glass, it's gonna be the proper temperature, um, things like that that the geeks like me find important. I, I wanna learn a little bit about right. that. Quadruple from La Trappe Koningshoven in the Netherlands, uh, yeah. town of Tilburg. It's the only Trappist certified brewing facility outside of Belgium, it's right across the border in, in the Netherlands. Um, quadruple is the highest gravity Trappist style and Trappist brewing are single doubles, triples, and quadruples. So quadruples generally end up uh, being sweet, kind of caramelly, sometimes chocolatey. So this one might do me in for my work meeting in an hour. Your work meeting was, was lost at like 1.30 this afternoon. <laughs> Cheers, man. Yeah, they always cover up the All right. All right. So I know we're pushing up against the deadline. We're hustling. We're going to jump right around the corner to Pacific Brewing Company, which is the exact opposite end of the spectrum. Classic <laughs> brew pub. And that's not that's not knocking it. Classic brew pub, but very American. Um, you know, big sticky beers, uh, fried food. Uh. Exactly. <laughs> Shut your mind, baby, eyes closed, you and I, as the time goes, watch it fly, baby, my boy. So here's our sampler. All right. Lots of beer for this you. Looks like a lot of beer. It is that a lot is of, a beer. Lot of beer. I've decided to take my talents to Pacific Brewing Company. I just can't wait till tomorrow, it's all right, baby, I know it's me. American Kobe B sliders. What? Sweet potato fries. It's about to get ugly. I can't leave if you follow. This can't wait till tomorrow. It's alright, baby. I know it's 